Hello guys, in this video I will talk about theorems and proofs in LaTeX. More specifically, I will show you how you can use new theorem command in your LaTeX document. Theorem is a special kind of environment. If you want to learn more about environments in LaTeX, I recommend you watch our tutorial by clicking the link above. The new theorem command has two mandatory arguments. The first one is the name of the new environment and the second one is the text printed at the beginning of the environment right before the number. Before giving you some examples, let's first call the package uh, called msfthm, which corresponds to the American Math Society for theorems. Now we are ready to use our command new theorem. Let's write new uh, theorem. And here we are providing the environment name. Let's uh, make it THM and our label is theorem. We just define THM as an environment. So we use the environment with begin comment and we are just writing the end THM to close the environment. And as you see, it just appeared at the right as theorem one. And let's say this is the first theorem. This is the text we are writing in this environment and it appears italic. Okay, so another example, let's create another THM environment and this time let's say that this is the second theorem. Okay, so here you can see the theorem 1 and theorem 2. And this uh, Theorem environment takes an optional argument and we are providing the optional arguments uh, with square brackets and let's say that it's Taylor's theorem and as you see it ap appears in the uh, parentheses just after the number and before the dot okay so this is how we use THM environment that we created. We can also create another uh, theorem environment and this one let's make it lem for lemma and again we are using the begin comment with lem environment and this is the first lemma. Okay, so as you see, we have theorem 1, theorem 2, and lemma 1. So in terms of the numbering, every time I am using the THM environment, the number will increase. Like if I use uh, another THM environment, it will be theorem 3. And it's same for the lemma as well. If I use another uh, lemma environment, it will be lemma 2. But I can just adjust these numbers. Okay, so I can just uh, modify these numbers. To show you how we can modify it, let's scroll down and let's talk about theorem numbering. The new theorem comment has two forms for numbering. In the first one, the optional uh, argument is at the end. And this argument is the counter of a sectional unit such that numbering includes this counter. I will uh, give an example about it. And in the second one, the optional argument is between the mandatory arguments and it's the shared counter, which corresponds to the counter environment in which uh, numbering will progress sequentially. Let's start with some examples. Okay, again, we are creating a new theorem, but this time uh, let's say it's theorem instead of THM because it's a new one. And again, it will represent it as theorem and here I am writing section okay so basically I am saying that the sectional unit will be section and whenever I use the theorem environment it will take the section number at the first place and let's use this environment okay so begin theorem and let's say this is a theorem okay so here you can see it's 2.1 it's not just theorem 1 it's 2.1 because this 2 in the first place is coming from the section number 2 of uh, theorem numbering if I write another theorem let's 
copy and paste. Uh, let's wait until it compiles. So as you see, it's now theorem 2.2 because we are in the same section. Let's make it another section. Okay, so let's say section, another section. I don't know. I mean, it's just some name. Now take this uh, our theorem environment and paste it here, and you will see that it will appear as theorem 3.1, because this is the first theorem of the uh, third section. Okay, this three is coming from the this three like the number in front of another section okay you can also even make it for uh, subsections for example if i make it subsection here and you will see that it's now 2.11 and 2.12 uh, because 2.1 is coming from the subsection examples 2.1 again here since i don't have any subsection it's basically uh, 3.0 okay now it's in the subsection level this is very helpful uh, but notice that this happens only when i use the uh, optional argument at the end okay so let's look at the second one and for that let me just remove this uh, section okay so let's create and also let me uh, delete this subsection for now and let's have uh, theorem 1 2 and 3 and also let me delete this one okay let's have only two theorems here and i am creating a new, new theorem environment let it will be called lemma because we already have lem and here it's lemma and in the optional argument I will use theorem okay so this theorem is same as this one the theorem in the uh, line 60 okay they are the same because here in the square breakers I need to provide the environment name and let's create our lemma environment and let's say this is a lemma okay so what's that it appears as three lemma three it's not lemma one anymore because i am using the same counter for both theorem and lemma environment and if i create another theorem environment here it will appear as theorem four because they are using the same counter okay i provided it by using the theorem uh, optional argument here if i delete it okay let's try and see it will be uh, as you see theorem 1 2 and uh, lemma 1 and theorem 3 okay because right now we they use different counters so let's make them the same again and lastly I want to show you our giving a reference for that we will use label and let's say this is uh, theorem I don't know some uh, third Let's make it theorem third. So we are just providing a label inside the environment, and then in the text we will say theorem, and we will use the ref command, and you will give the same thing theorem third. Okay. So this is the reference to do this label. They have to be the same, and you will see that it will appear as for. Okay. Let's wait to compile, and here you can see it's theorem four. In this way, whenever you change the uh, number, it will automatically change. Like, let's add another theorem here, and we should of course delete this label, so that our theorem will have have the label. And as you see, it just appeared the theorem five. Okay, so using this label is very important if you are uh, if you are using lots of theorems or if you are changing the uh, numbers. And again, let me section here and let's wait okay as you see now it start with uh, theorem 2.1 as I said 2 is coming from the section number 2 and for lemma it's 2.3 because we are using the same counter and for our reference it became 2.5 okay so using this ref and label comments are very healthy and the last thing in this video is the proofs 
So proof is an already uh, environment because we call the package uh, AMS THM. So we can just use begin proof. Okay. Uh, so just a second. As you can see, it just appears here as italic proof, and there is a empty box at the end. Okay, empty square. Mm, let's write this is a proof. Okay, so let me just take one of the theorem here, and remember, it will appear as theorem three point one. Okay, because uh, we use the section here as a parent counter so these were the for uh, second section and this is for the third section so proof is a new section here and this is the proof we have proof in italic and we have a, a box at the end so maybe you want to change the box okay so maybe somehow you don't like this uh, white square for that we can use renew new comment and we will use q e this symbol okay so because this uh, square is called as q this symbol notice that it just disappeared because the, uh, the second argument is empty that's why it uh, disappeared if i write then q e d and let's wait you will see that q e d here Okay, so you can make it also uh, like square, for example. Uh, let's wait until it compiles. Okay, so we don't have uh, this right now, but I can write something else. I I don't know right now, so let's let's leave it empty. So what I am showing you here, you can change the uh, QED symbol at the end by using the renew, uh, renew comment comment. Okay. So again, if you want to learn more about uh, comments, I recommend you watch the video by clicking the above. And I think this is all for uh, our videos about theorems and proofs today. Uh, thank you for watching. If you have any question, please leave a comment. Hope to see you in the next videos.